Assalamu alaikum dear participants. Secret to inner peace is the topic we are going to discuss today. Tensions and worries seem to be an essential part of our lives. Strained finances, ill health, failures in studies, fiasco in business ventures, fatal accidents, kidnappings, house burglaries, tragic deaths, handicapped children, unfulfilled desires, feeling of deprivation, and the list goes on. It becomes very difficult at times to cope with these sufferings in life. And then troubles seem to come in doubles and in triples. They don't come singly. They come in clusters. And then they continue to come re relentless and ruthlessly. And as a result, we are faced with a huge ordeal in life. So the consequence more often than not is that frustration and depression result. Inner peace and mental calm are lost. The agony of life stares us in the eye. So how can we tackle this situation, this scenario? So besides a strong relationship with God, a three-pronged strategy may help us win inner peace. The first of this is that let us always keep a track of our blessings. The favors of God on each of us are numerous in fact, limitless. A list of these blessings will easily outnumber the troubles we may be facing. We tend to lose sight of them and take them for granted. It is recommended that we continue to count our blessings each day. The best occupation while sitting idle is to rehearse and review and to keep counting our blessings. This will give us the strength and resilience to fight the miseries of life. Above all, it will bless us with that inner calm so missing in our lives today. The second strategy that we should adopt uh, in order to gain this mental peace is to set ourselves a mission in life. If we have an objective in life and go all out towards achieving it, worries and sufferings will not bother us as much simply because we will not have the time for them. A person who is focused on a cause is so deeply involved in realizing his mission that worries he may have, but seldom will they get the better of him. His commitment and devotion to a cause will contribute to his inner peace. The third thing that a person can do to attain inner peace is that we should start sharing the woes of people around us by reaching out to them and helping them as much as we can in their difficulties and worries. Knowing about the grief of others lessens our own grief. It decreases our own grief. It gives solace to our mind that we are better off than so many other people. Lending a hand to others makes us contributing individuals to society and makes us look at life in a positive way. So instead of brooding on what we do not have, we should see what others do not have. This will make us thankful to God and give us mental peace. So these are the three therapies I would suggest which are the key to inner peace. And summing up, the first of them can be called gratitude therapy. The second one can be called mission therapy. And the third one can be called as reaching out therapy.